bare earth where a power station should be rising. The deal to build Hinkley C was supposed to be done four years ago. But all that's happened is the cost has gone up and a row's broken out at EDF over whether the French energy company can afford to build the thing. The finance director has quit. He reportedly thinks signing on Hinkley now will blow a hole in EDF's balance sheet. The Chancellor persuaded the Chinese to help with the finances, but the deal's still not been signed. At £18 billion, Hinkley Point C will be one of the most expensive power stations ever built. EDF is strapped for cash and has yet to find all of its share of the money, even with the Chinese putting up a chunk of the cash for a 33.5% stake. The government's tried to help make the deal, stumping up a £10 billion loan guarantee and, controversially, guaranteeing to pay EDF at least £92.50 per megawatt hour, double the current wholesale price. This energy analyst says because that price is linked to inflation, we'll be paying way over the odds. And by the time it comes on stream, we're probably going to be paying them something like £120 per megawatt hour. Now, if we look at what sort of oil and gas price would be the equivalent of £120 per megawatt hour electricity price, it's about $250, $280 oil. So yes, if oil is about $300 plus when Hinkley comes on stream, Hinkley, the price that we're paying for the power in Hinkley will look cheap. But do you really think oil is going to be nearly $300 in 2024, 2025? I very much doubt it. It's led to fears we'll be paying higher bills for a poor deal. Now, essentially, the ball is in EDF's court and the government can only stand by and hope that EDF signs the deal and can make it work. That's why they should be investigating other options to make sure that we can meet our climate change targets and keep the lights on. Hinkley is supposed to power six million homes, but EDF's failed to get similar reactors online in France and Finland. The difficulty that they've had scraping together the finance for this deal shows that there isn't a lot of investor faith in new nuclear. Well, at Hinkley we're building the first new nuclear power station in the UK for a very long time. So an industry that's almost been in dormancy for a long time, that's a big challenge. Also that the risk in terms of construction uh, and building the plan is not it doesn't come to the taxpayer, that's borne by the developer, in this case EDF. They've got to make their judgment on their financial decisions, both in terms of the short-term is issues they've got to deal with and also what the long-term return on that investment will be. It's a big investment. It appears EDF's finance director has lost the argument against. The French firm said today it's looking at the best way to finance Hinkley C and its final investment decision will be announced soon. Jane Deeth. And...